Hurricane Francis was made landfall in Indian River County with winds of 105 miles per hour, and that made it a, a very strong Category 2 hurricane. While it wasn't a major hurricane, it had, the impact it had on Indian River County was every bit as strong as if it was a major hurricane, a Category 3, 4, 5. Uh, and the main reason for that is the storm moved very, very slowly, and as it moved across Indian River County and then eventually to the north, it brought a tremendous amount of rainfall to the area, anywhere from 20 to 30 inches in some places. So we had wind damage, we had flooding damage, we had storm surge damage, all the things that you would associate with a hurricane, and yet it was a Category 2 hurricane. And any River County up until this point had never had a major hurricane. Of course, Hurricane Gene changed that when it made landfall with winds of 115 miles an hour. For Indian River County, residents that have lived here all their life experience, had the experience of what a real hurricane was like. In the past, we had hurricanes like Hurricane Aaron. We had Hurricane David. These were very minimal Category 1 hurricanes when they made landfall here, winds of about 75 to 80 miles per hour. Nothing like what was experienced with Hurricane Francis. Hurricane Francis was really a test of the community's effort to recover from hurricanes, to be prepared for hurricanes. And I think for all the residents in Indian River County, if they were here for the other storms, they would agree that this storm took them by surprise a little bit as to the strength of the hurricane. And now they know what it's like to be through a true hurricane and how to adequately prepare for them. Well, I think I think the county residents learned a lot. They learned what a real hurricane is. Um, they, they learned how to better prepare their property. I think uh, the state of Florida learned a lot because the state of Florida now has a much better response plan to help the local people. And I think that the biggest problem that we have now is, is no different than anything else that's happening in this country right now, simply the economic situation. People don't have the money to spend on preparedness. They don't have the money to spend on window protection. Uh, people don't have the money to spend on retrofitting their homes, which is going to make them a little bit more vulnerable to a hurricane if something's threatening. Also, something that's out of the hands of all of our residents, that's out of the hands for us, is the insurance crisis. The best way to recover from financially from a hurricane is to make sure you have proper homeowner's insurance. A lot of people can't afford that right now because the rates have gone up so much since the 2004 hurricane season, the state of Florida has got to look at this and come up with a solution so that people can get affordable homeowner insurance rates because a lot of people are dropping their homeowner insurance rates because of the hurricane rates. Then if we have a hurricane come in, they think FEMA is going to come in and give them all this money to rebuild. FEMA is not going to be coming in to give you all this money. They come in to help you with human needs, but they're not coming in to rebuild your home.